How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? He walked Easy. in the gates. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did, Many things do was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. It's always necessary. It's Splinter Cell. <laughs> I'm inside. And is it never now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, hack the camera controls to record the conversation, oh. and uplink the feed to yeah. us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. Nice and easy. All right, so let's go get up to the camera controls. And up here. Hello, camera controls. All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Easy, she says. Hang on. That's it. Now, I'm no now expert, but I'm pretty sure you need to do a controls. little bit more than that. We're dealing with directional mics here, high end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. How fun. And so, here they for this. Come you... Now. For this, you basically have to look around at each of the cameras and just this every once in a while. Zoom in. See if you can get the guys. So, actually, let's look, let's look from this angle. Galliard is that fellow there. And Reed, there he is. Hmm. This one should get them both. No? This one, then. I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The hey, paperclips are important. And I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh. Do you now? Well, that sounds interesting. I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. Back home. I don't like the chances. Like Samson. I don't trust Samson. But... We had a bit of Which is We were both more civilized. There we go. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet. Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation, and Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my oh, men yes, will I deal am. with them, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. Ooh, burn. I'll worry about burn. Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting that you found this place to meet, of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. Hmm. Really? 
I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cut. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're so supposed he's a to micromanager. Be All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Well, that was interesting. Let's go after so Reed. Reed and Galliard. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. Exactly. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Thanks, Graham. So we need to go this way. So yeah, oh, yeah. Tom Reed and Lucius Mr. Galliard. Galliard. My name is Anna We're working Grimm's on daughter. something I'm sinister. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides. Sure, sure thing. And was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. Oh, a bribe. Mr. Galliard, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of my call. No, I don't think I am. Let me explain something, Miss. You really shouldn't talk to Grim like that. Guards! Yeah. Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. Nicely, you say? All right. Pretty please tell me what's going on. With sugar on top. If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. Oh, I did put him through this the TV. Bigger than Reed. Damn. Bigger than third <laughs> echelon. God, they're just convenient. Why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. Practice makes perfect. There we go. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs? Really? Where do I find them? Say please. 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 Inform me where the EMPs are. And I won't have to damage more of this valuable equipment. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> That's part of the plan. You see? <laughs> you can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Oh, that's lovely. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Very well. More pressure will be applied. <laughs> Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this one piece. And once Reed is finished at the what? Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Someone Galliard's just assassinated dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. Fine, fine. I've got a visual. He's him. on the stage. Yes, I see. So now we have a chase scene. He just Gosh, ducked into on. the VIP tent. No Thanks, Grim. Uh-uh. No shooting me. I'm here, Fisher. Stop it, please. <laughs> he went over the fence, she said, while I'm less than a meter behind him. Lethal force when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. So before, when I said 
that there weren't actually any non-lethal takedowns. Turns out I was wrong. There is one. Hello. Well, there's one set of them. I wonder if I can just bypass this. Yes, I can. Leap. Waiting for you again, Sam. Well, of course he is. I'm waiting for you. Come here. Come here, damn you. So jump up this. He jumped down. Keep going, dead ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. He jumped down. I did see the that. Yes, I saw that too. I will catch you, you son of a bitch. Hmm. Oh, hey. There you are. You gotta get a camera crew down here. Now! He's outside and on the move again, Sam. He's also a teleporting ninja, apparently. Come on, come around this corner. Or well, don't. Police officer, come out now. No. Nope. You can run, but you can't hide, Fisher. Give it up. How do they even know who I am? Oh, you bastard! I will kill you for that. Heads your up, shit Sam. shot. The police are pulling back from your location. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Please do so. Everybody out! Now! Oh Come on, people, out of the way, out of the way. Cafe. He's headed for the parkway, Sam. I see him. He's headed for I love the exaggerated scream. Are we? Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> He's just a little dead. Put it into practice. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the Okay, cops? well, let me have control. Third echelon called them off when they rolled up the shooter. Then the gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. So we do get a couple of mark and executes. So that's nice. Now, if you guys would be ever so obliging. No? Not really a thing that you want to do? Area looks clear. Are we sure Fisher's still in the Lincoln Memorial Zone? Oh, I'm still here. No signs of movement. He's playing it safe. Hmm. Can't jump over that. Can jump over this. Zone's thing. clear. Oh. Stay alert. He's got to turn up sooner or later. No Fisher around here. We better He hurry turns around again. Back. Stay alert. Can't have gone too far. Bye. Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. Yes, 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 yes. I know. Here they are now. Uh, you and you, I think, are the ones who are going to be in a good spot for me to shoot if I leap on the third guy. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Apparently not. Captain Fisher, he's hiding. Search and destroy. Find the hostile and take him out. Fisher's still out there. Check the terrace, the cafe, the bathroom, mm. everything. Oh, hell. Hello. There's another batch coming at you, Sam. Well, that's good. I like challenges. Here they come. No, up. Oh. Okay, actually, stay there. Let us see. Who comes over this way? Can't engage in contact. No visual. 
You think that's funny? Watch this. Oh, I think it's hilarious. Locate the hot dial and take him out. Move it. Okay. New idea. Whoa! <laughs> Time to go, Sam. Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge right behind here. the cafe. Go. Run, Sam. <laughs> 